Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Walk with Anxiety. Today we're going to talk about the main issue with anxiety, panic attacks. Okay, sometimes it, it scares you just to hear the word panic attack. Okay, but today we're going to talk about it. We, I'm going to break down the mechanic of panic attacks, of why you have them, what is happening to your body when you have them, and finally, how to overcome them. I will make more videos about how to overcome panic attacks because there's more than one approach to overcome it. But today is going to be a general idea of panic attacks itself. You hear people joke about panic attacks because they abuse the term. Okay, they're like, oh my god, I just had a panic attack. You know, you see kids running out of the mall laughing and just say, oh my god, I just had a panic attack in there. Those people probably never had a real panic attack. Because once you have a real panic attack, you normally don't want to joke about it. Because that's how debilitating and that is how scary a panic attack can be. People who had panic attacks, including me, I had hundreds if not thousands of them you know, during 10 years of me battling with anxiety. I can tell you, it is something you don't want to have. You know, it's something that you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy, okay? Panic attacks are so scary. It is understandable why it's so scary because basically, you are going through and experiencing the highest level of fear. So it's understandable why people are so fearful of panic attacks, and why they are so scared of panic attacks. Okay, but let me put you at peace. Just so you know, panic attacks are your body of trying to stop you or prevent you from dying. But at the same time, it does nothing but to make you feel like you are dying. That conflict confuses people, you know? And it is like, no, there's no way, there's no way panic attack is there to stop me from dying, you know? It's there to kill me. You know, people feel like they're going to die when they have a panic attack. I felt that so many times, okay? But this video will give you the understanding. And then I hope that you will trust that panic, panic attacks will not kill you, okay? So <clears throat> let's go into what are panic attacks because I want you to imagine this. This is you, okay? And this is a threat. Let's say a tiger, okay? So when your body perceives a threat, it triggers something called a fight or flight or freeze response. Okay, this fight or flight or freeze response is there. It's going to jump in and it's going to try to save you from the threat. Okay, it's going to gear up your body. It's going to prepare your body to either run, fight or sometimes freeze. Okay, it's doing everything it can to make sure that you don't die from the threat. But in reality, there's no threat. There's no tiger. Okay, so what your body does at that moment it is going to look for the second most uncomfortable feeling that you feel. So it's going to start searching the fight and flight response is still there. But there's no tiger. So it's going to look and search for something that your body perceives as danger. At that point, what is it? It's your pounding heart. It's your shallow breathing. It's your dizziness. It's your blur vision. It's your churning stomach, okay? Everything that your body does in the stage of fight or flight or freeze is now become your next threat, okay? And now because of that, now your mind will focus on those symptoms and the negative thoughts will start pouring in. What if I have a, a heart attack? What if I am having a seizure? What if I pass out? You know, what if I fall? What if I'm having a stroke? Those thoughts will send another rush of adrenaline in your body. And now this fight or flight or freeze response is supposed to be your guardian angel receive another rush of adrenaline, your guardian angel has now become a monster because now it turns toward you. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is now you have what is called a panic attack. Okay, it's your body make it stronger and the stronger it gets, the more adrenaline your body is reduce, uh, producing 
to make it even stronger and that is a cycle that send you to something called a panic attack okay but at some point your body will start to stop producing adrenaline because your body cannot continue to produce adrenaline forever so the moment it stops producing it your parasympathetic nerves kick in and calm your body down so all those symptoms start to subside okay so that's why it doesn't matter how bad how long of a panic attack is it always ends and the one thing for sure it will never kill you it will never harm you nobody ever died from a panic attack nobody why because the root of the panic attack is the is the mechanism that's there to save you it makes sure that you don't die but by intensifying and and, re, and reacting so dramatically to your bodily symptoms it makes you feel like you are dying okay and how many panic attacks does it take to ruin one person's life one it took one panic attack to ruin my life for 10 years why because i didn't understand what was going on nobody explained anything to me so my stress level is high and obviously my mind continued to think about what happened to me during the panic attack especially my first one and now that i'm thinking that something is wrong with my body and you know you know your life go downhill from then okay now how do you actually handle a panic attack there are many people say you know what when you have a panic attack first trying to breathe second act normal third trying to ignore it okay let me tell you something there are three things that is very difficult to do during the panic attack is to breathe is to act normal and is to ignore it okay you can't even ignore a mole or, or like a muscle twitch in your pinky and now you're asking people to ignore the entire panic attack that's impossible that's not realistic okay and trying to breathe during a panic attack is actually making a panic attack worse that's what I've seen that's what happens to me too okay now and trying to act normal how the hell can you act normal during a panic attack you know that's 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 the friction and that's the tension that people putting on themselves and not accepting that they having a panic attack when I had panic attack and when I understood about panic attacks when I had them I just let them do whatever it wants to do to me you know like I told my friends like dude just give me a second I'm having a panic attack you know like give me five or ten minutes let me calm down or hey pull over let me get out of the car I'm having a panic attack I can't breathe in this car you know I'm not trying to act normal I tell people I'm having a panic attack that's the acceptance level that you need to be you know to take away the tension to take away the pretending about your anxiety disorder because it's not something to be ashamed of okay something that you actually have to face it and don't be ashamed to tell people people have diabetes high blood pressure cancer all kind of disease they don't hide it you know anxiety is a very debilitating condition that you have you don't have to hide it you know and they have to accept the fact that it takes time for you to recover and the people who have issues with it they, they might not you might not want to be their friends in the first place okay anyways so just go back to have, when you have a panic attack so what do you do Dr. Claire Wicks explains very very well in this point when you have a panic attack recovering from panic attack lay on the from the on the other side of panic attacks not on this side what she's trying to say is that when you're having a panic attack your mind are thinking if you don't withdraw if you don't run away something bad will happen to you okay the monster right here will get you the rea in reality though if you can take the beating this is what I do when I have a panic attack Dr. Claire Wick say you know you're trying to have to float it's difficult to do because you can't really float the float floating means something comfortable you know you're relaxing it's hard to do when you have a panic attack and some people say you know what trying to surrender and it confuses people because they think okay what do you what do I do to surrender like raise my arms or what do I do 
to me the exact term that I use is take the beating okay just imagine there's a wall and there's a bunch of bodyguards are standing there and your goal is to go through that wall go through the gate okay and you will take the beating from those bodyguards knowing for sure they cannot kill you okay so when you have a panic attack just picture there is a wall a big wall with a gate and a bunch of very mean and aggressive bodyguards which are your body symptoms okay and you're just gonna have to cover your head and trying to run right through it and take the beating knowing that they will not kill you and once you can get through the wall and realize that all the negative thoughts that you have like oh my god I'm gonna have a panic uh, a stroke a heart attack a seizure I'm gonna fall I'm gonna make a fool out of myself a whole list of what you believed will happen if you don't run away once you get through the wall you realize one thing it's nothing it's no heart attack it's no stroke no seizure no passing out no making any scene once you get to that moment and realize that there's nothing on the other side of the panic attack that's when you recover from panic attack that's when you cure yourself from panic attack some people found a feeling of victory some people feel amazing when they actually like wait you know what there's nothing I'm fine they want to actually go back and experience that feeling again and guess what they can't because when you try to have a panic attack so that you can go through it to experience the feeling on the other side of panic attack you cannot have a panic attack because you are proactively trying to have a panic attack you cannot have a panic attack on demand okay there are people who told me hey man I I felt amazing when I actually can push my thro- myself through the wall you know took all the beating of panic attacks like I let all my symptoms be there like I, I try to experience all of them I, f- I feel like okay fine my heart's beating I can't breathe let's go you know make it worse and I like they trying to go through the wall and they told me I felt amazing when I realized for so many years I've been afraid that the whole list of bad things will happen to me if I don't withdraw from a panic attack now I realize that list is empty it's not there it was all just a bluff it was all just a lie you know and I felt great I want to experience that again man I, I want to have a panic attack so I can do it over and over they couldn't it's amazing they couldn't have a panic attack again because every time they feel a panic attack coming instead of being afraid of it they get excited about it because they want to experience that moment again now experiencing that moment at first is not easy okay sometimes you try to take the beating 80% of the way and then you withdraw you pull back 99% of the way you pull back okay but in order for you to recover from panic attack guys you have to do it 100% 99 is not good enough 98% is not good enough but if you can't do a hundred percent on your first try or second try or third try that's okay because it takes practice then I couldn't go through it 100% at first you know sometimes you you go 50% and you, you you pull back remind yourself before you pull back right away you ran away right away okay you went to the ER you went to the hospital you call your doctor you call your wife you call your husband or you turn around and go home you know you leave the situation you know you exit the room you exit your class you, know, you left your church you know because as soon as you feel the panic coming you withdraw okay now you go 50% in so that's better that's progress right and from 50% you're gonna go 60% 80% until the day you can go 100% through your panic attack that's the moment you recover from it and I promise you that okay don't don't, don't believe I mean don't don't try to listen to your therapist hey man when you have a panic attack trying to breathe trying to count four counts of breathing in and six counts of breathing out those are just techniques for you to cope with it but you want to recover from it don't you okay 
and I promise you I've seen not 80 or 90 percent I see a hundred percent of people who actually trying to go through their panic attack a hundred percent recover from panic attacks okay that's why the famous Dr. Claire Wicks always say recovering from panic attacks lay on the other side of panic not on this side so it doesn't matter what you're trying to do on this side okay tapping yourself breathing you know saying some mantras trying to find nine or ten blue things and red things and name them out trying to distract yourself from a panic attack all of that stuff that you do you're still doing it on this side of panic attack and there are people who spend years decades stuck on this side and wonder why they haven't recovered from panic attacks but remember recovering from a panic attacks lay on the other side of it not on this side and the only way that you can get to this side is to go through the gate with a bunch of bodyguards and take the beating the beating will get less intense the beating will get less scary and scary as you practice okay and the beatings I'm trying to say here are your physical symptoms or your negative thoughts okay let the thought come let the physical symptoms manifest itself do whatever it wants to do to you your goal is to get through that wall a hundred percent once your body calm down that means you get through the wall and you will realize for many years it was just a bluff okay guys and this is a true way to recover from panic attacks I promise you that okay now next time when you tr when you have a panic attack try try to remember this video okay cover your head take the beating go through the wall and see what lays on the other side of panic attacks and knowing that a hundred percent for sure panic attack cannot kill you because panic attacks are there to make sure that you don't die so you will not die from a panic attack okay try it to see how it works okay and comment below to see if it works for you okay and if you like this video just give it a like subscribe to my channel and i'll be making more videos for you okay as for now have a good day guys bye bye